Hey people, it's Nas Toki. Now this is another Black Hole for this video. Now to this day, I'm featuring my good friend Ted Santos. Now I've spoken to Ted Santos quite a lot. So I'm reading his book, Here's Why You Can't Find Love. Now, I've read this whole thing just now, so it's all a stream of consciousness and I haven't absorbed all of it, so I will reread it. But I would recommend this book. If five stars out of five, I think everyone should read it. Now, who do I recommend this to? Well, I would recommend it to anyone, male or female, those in relationships, those who don't want relationships, or those who just want to learn. But there's a lot in this. You know, Ted presents it in a way that um, it's sort of like what they call the Socratic dialogue. Socrates would ask questions and challenge an assumption. So you think this is the right way, correct? Well, what about this? Um, I'm not so sure. Well, what if you did this? He begins with an informal session where he's talking to a group of women after a party. And he talks about different ideas about relationships where after they ask and, this, and they ask him questions about what if this and this and this. And really, Ted uh, uh, challenges a lot of our assumptions about relationships and what makes them work. And in honesty, a lot of people might be turned off when they read this book. They wouldn't be, they might say, but I don't feel comfortable that this goes against my programming, my radio station, as they put it. But I think everyone should read it because true growth and change can only be read by leaving the comfort zone and accepting maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the way I've been doing it isn't the right way. Now, I think the book will ultimately appeal a little bit more to women because of the presentation style, but that doesn't mean that men can't enjoy it or learn from it. And... Reading this book, Ted often presents relationships and successful relationships in the idea of um, a business or professionalism or in corporate America. And there is some validity to this. Ted often makes the assertion, we behave properly when we go to a job, but when we come home, we have all sorts of behaviors we would never use in the workplace. And one thing I, it reminds me of is the seven habits of highly successful people, but it's more like a relationship geared way. And one thing I wanted to bring to it was the a concept that Stephen Covey brought that I recognize in this book. The idea that we think in order for something to be right, you have to win and someone has to lose. And it's a bizarre mentality when we have our relationships. Well, if I'm happy, you must be unhappy. Or if I'm feeling unhappy, it's your fault. It's completely asinine, but we bring this to the table. Ted brings a more wholesome and holistic approach. The idea that in order for a relationship to be successful, you both need to be happy, you both need to work together, and you both need to have open and honest communications. And really, Ted also brings a lot of common sense to the discussion of relationships that we haven't heard before. And I really like this because... When I first got, uh, got the book, I was thinking, oh, it's got to be big. It's, it's very small, less than 100 pages, but it's so con uh, compact, concise, and clear to the point. I could read this in just about two hours, and I wasn't uh, bored by it in any step of the way. Anyway, I really don't want to keep going on about this, but how does this appeal to the main audience of my channel, who are black men and black women? I think that black men and black women really should read this because a lot of black men and black women come up with really faulty ideas of relationships. They've watched movies, uh, te television, novels, or they've seen dysfunctional relationships in their own family or in their neighborhood, and they've come, a they've come up and thought, that's how a relationship should work. So this is why I would recommend this book and this offer to my audience. Please buy it. I'm going to leave the link to his site and the link to his social media. Please check it out. And Ted Santos is a black author. He grew up in New Jersey and he's been a, in the corporate America for a long time and advised several corporations. But you can read more about him later. Anyway, please support, read, uh, read and learn from his book. Peace.